Good afternoon and welcome to Brisbane Road. Fresh from history-making wins in the FA Cup for both these clubs last weekend. It's a return to women's Super League duty for Tottenham Hotspur and Leicester City. And the next time they meet, four weeks today, it will be with a place at Wembley on the line. This has become a dress rehearsal for that FA Cup semi-final, a stage both will be appearing at for the very first time. Spurs beat Manchester City on penalties last week. Leicester won at Liverpool. That was quite a way for the Foxes to respond, given the turmoil that engulfed the club hours earlier following the suspension of manager Willie Kirk. His assistant Jennifer Foster remains in charge today as the club continues to investigate an internal matter. And the focus this afternoon very much on the battle for points in the WSL as sixth place Spurs host to Leicester side just two places and three points below them. Well, some late injury news for Tottenham. Unfortunately for them, they were without top scorer Martha Thomas, who has a hamstring injury that will likely keep her out for three weeks. She's replaced by the January signing Matilda Vinberg, the Swede, who turned 21 yesterday, makes her first WSL start. Midfielder Drew Spence returns from illness. She replaces Olga Artenen, who drops to the bench. Leicester also make two changes. Germany international forward Lena Peterman returns from injury, and Japan midfielder Yuka Mamiki returns to the starting lineup. The two to drop out are Amelia Pelganda and Courtney Nevin, who are both on the bench. Janina Leitzig back on the bench, too. That's a welcome sight for Leicester. Dutch goalkeeper Lisa Kopp continues to deputise for her, and she turns 26, to the, 26 today. Happy birthday to Lisa Kopp. that what a season for Tottenham and for Leicester too really the league starts that both enjoyed I mean they're comfortably clear of the drop zone both of them look like clubs who are very much heading towards the next stage in their evolution brighter days ahead a historic first FA Cup semi-final for the two of them and Leicester, a win today, would see them set their new club record for WSL points. Aileen Whelan, the Leicester captain on the left of screen. Becky Spencer, the goalkeeping hero and captain of Tottenham last weekend. Two saves. What a performance for her to take Tottenham into the FA Cup semi-final. Here at Brisbane Road, those two saves against England internationals. Alex Greenwood, Chloe Kelly, who we've seen thump penalties home for England. But last weekend, Becky Spencer was equal to it and palmed it away. The FA Cup magic and drama will have to wait for another day, though. It is all about the WSL this afternoon. As the teams take the knee. Referee Adi Sonai prepares to get the match underway. And we are off and underway at Brisbane Road. Tottenham against Leicester. Just over a year ago, a year and two days, these two teams met here with relegation, a real possibility for either of them. Uh, Bethany England struck an absolutely stunning goal that day to settle matters. Tottenham won 1 0. It was the first game after the sacking of Rian Skinner. And Vicky Jepson, who's still on the coaching staff as Ashley Neville gives away a free kick here, was in charge that night. A vital win it proved to be for Tottenham as uh, Neville here. Committing the foul. Sari Takarada. And Leicester have an early free kick. An early chance to put Tottenham 
under pressure. In it comes, and Becky Spencer claims it comfortably. And clears it quickly. Can she set Tottenham on an attack? Lovely turn from Bizet. And Spence feeds it through to Naz. This is wonderful flowing football from Tottenham. And Naz with the cross in! And Tottenham make an electric start! Under pressure at one end, and they came flying up the other end to put themselves into an early lead. It was wonderful fly. What a ball in from Jess Naz, and it is Vimberg. The day after turning 21, celebrating her first WSL start with the goal that gives Tottenham the lead inside the opening two minutes. The way that Tottenham broke there was everything that Robert Villaham has been trying to work into this team since becoming Tottenham's new head coach last summer. We've seen it in evidence throughout the season and to full effect there in the opening 120 seconds of this match at Brisbane Road. Well, there's never been a goalless draw between these two in the WSL and there won't be now because Tottenham have struck early. And Leicester now need to find a way to respond. Of course, they have plenty of time to do that. Drew Spence with a lovely pass in that Tottenham goal as well. Tottenham delighted to have her back from the illness that kept her out. A referee plays on here, waving the advantage. Can see why he did so. Leicester were temporarily at least in a promising position as Mamiki is back on her feet now. That's twice she's been caught in the early stages here though. Neville with the touch out of play as Uta Rantala sought to turn. Rantala, the Finn, up against her compatriot Evelina Sumana in the Tottenham starting lineup this afternoon. Olga Artanen on the bench for Tottenham as well, another Finn. They've recently celebrated promotion to Nations League. Group A, or did so rather before Christmas, and now looking ahead to Euro 2025 qualifiers at that level. Clinton. Back by Luana Bula to Spencer, who returns it to the Swiss international, but it's given away. Mamiki picks it up. And Leicester putting Tottenham under real pressure here. Tottenham unable to work it clear, and they concede a throw in. And another throw for Leicester. Good response by the visitors. with CJ Botts. Bot holds on to it under pressure from Bizet, but Clinton wins it back for Tottenham and finds Bizet. Ball off the outside of the right boot as Bizet sought to feed it through to Naz. Too much on the ball though. 
Tottenham starting lineup in full. Spencer in goal, the captain. Neville, James Turner, Bula, and Nilden across the back line. Clinton, Spence, and Sumana across the middle. And Vinberg, the goal scorer, with Bizet flanking the pair of them. Jess Naz up top. Shot comes in and well wide from Nilden. Joined on loan from Juventus in January. Amanda Nilden, the Swede. Lovely touch that by Drew Spence. He pulled it back to her. And Nilden did well to cut inside, but skewed the shot well wide in the end. The Leicester starting lineup, Cop in goal, Bott, Howard, Thibaut, Cayman. The back line, Takarada in the centre of the pitch. As Bizet tries to sprint away down the left-hand flank, but it's good defending by Bott. Aileen Whelan, the captain, Sam Tierney, Mamiki, Arantala behind Lena Peterman. Back from injury for Leicester this afternoon. Turner back to Spencer. Mamiki with a lovely turn. Rantala holds on to it under pressure from Sumana. Still has it, Yuta Rantala, and finds Mamiki Takarada with a lovely ball through, and the shot takes a deflection, and Bula manages to, well, deflect it back to Spencer, not a deliberate pass back. Agrees the referee. But this was good build-up play from Leicester. The first real half chance of the afternoon for them. Vinberg tries to find Naz. Leicester cut out the danger, and Thibault will return it to Kopp. Kopp, not the only Leicester birthday girl. Denny Draper, 17 today. Happy birthday to her, not in the squad this afternoon. Trickles behind for a Tottenham goal kick. Straight out of play for a Leicester throw. What a weekend it was here. Last weekend with Tottenham getting that result. I'm sure anyone who was at Brisbane Road from a Tottenham perspective will never forget that occasion. To beat former WSL champions, former FA Cup winners, Manchester City on penalties to set up Tottenham's first ever women's FA Cup semi-final. Amy James Turner it was who hit the winning spot kick to send Tottenham through. And then the subsequent draw pairing these two clubs in a match which has been announced now for Sunday the 14th of April at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Tottenham men away that weekend to Newcastle in the Premier League the day before. So every chance of a sizeable crowd at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium for arguably the biggest day in the history of both these clubs. Obviously, the fact that they've sealed WSL promotion in the past will be achievements which will never be forgotten too, but 
to play on the stage of an FA Cup semi-final. Fans of both these clubs wouldn't have dreamt of that just four or five years ago. Bizet through to Spence. Spence with the layoff to Naz. It's back now with Drew Spence. Sumana is chased back to James Turner, who scored that winning penalty last weekend. Fires Neville. Vinberg, the goal scorer this afternoon. Naz to Spence. Spence goes from distance off the crossbar. Oh, and Cott manages to turn it away. Well, the Dutch keeper would have had little idea of where that was going to fall. She did really well to keep her wits about it. What an effort, though, from Drew Spence. What a return from her. Back from illness this afternoon. Lovely ball in the build-up to the goal with which Tottenham took the lead inside two minutes. And then she crashes one off the bar. Naz, who also played a wonderful part in that Tottenham goal with the cross into Vimberg. Leicester clear it. Some lovely football on display this afternoon in the early stages. Mainly from Tottenham, a little bit from Leicester too, though. Tottenham come again. Vimberg looks to work room for the shot. Instead goes for the pass to Naz. Sumana will try to pick out. Neville, but it was really well read by Rantala, in fact, to get back there and defend. As we look again at this lovely flowing move once more from Tottenham, Nilden with the ball to Naz, back to Spence, and she absolutely hammered it. Oh, I wonder if Kopp may even have got a touch on that initial effort, you know, from that replay. Tottenham millimetres away from doubling their lead. Thibaut under pressure from Neville, and it will drop to Neville, who heads it back towards Naz. But Howard was alert and heads it out of play for a Tottenham throw. Not often you see Julie Thibault make that sort of mistake to let in Neville. Neville with the throw to Vinberg. What a start she's had, Vinberg. Did really well to turn there. Gave the pass away, but Tottenham have won it back. Free kick given for the foul by Sumana on Takarada. Clinton does really well to turn away from Thibaut, who brings it down. Free kick to Tottenham. Magnificent season Grace Clinton's having on loan from Manchester United. It'll be really interesting to see how her future pans out in the summer, whether to return to Manchester United, establishing themselves as one of the big beasts in the WSL, albeit they look like they're going to miss out on Champions League qualification this season, having got through to the qualifiers last season. They are still in the FA Cup. They're in that other semi-final with Chelsea, or whether she stays at Tottenham, where clearly something is being built. They may not be her only two options, of course. Spence chips it in this time. Cheney wins it and finds Mamiki, who is, well, not fouled by Spence. Spence plays it through to Vinberg. Is she going to get her second of the afternoon? Comes back to Drew Spence. Oh, wonderful defending by Sophie Howard. 
The Scotland international did so well to get a foot in, not just that, but to send it over the crossbar rather than into the back of her own net. Well, Spence had her arms on the shoulders of Mamiki. Fair challenge, said the referee. Spence found Vinberg. Her shot deflected into the path of Spence, but before she could pull the trigger, Howard was there to turn it over the bar. Corner for Tottenham. Vinberg, the goal scorer to take. Whips it in. Tries to find Bula. Never with the header. Back to Bula. Cleared. But picked up by Clinton. Who arrows it out to the right hand flank. Vinberg with a deep cross, two deep and outs for a Leicester goal kick. Just to mention elsewhere on the FA player, kicked off the same time as this one in the Championship. Southampton against Reading. Southampton right in the thick of that intriguing battle for promotion up to the WSL. A Reading, of course, down to the Championship last season and the season of transition for them. Difficult season for them. Southampton have struck early in that game. If you want to see... Uh, what's happening if you've got a second screen or you want to flick across there for a while uh, they are one nil up as are tottenham here though and it's been an enthralling start to this game so you've got options this afternoon as you do most weekends of course on the fa player as both the wsl and championship seasons reach the business end so much still to play for Sunderland, Crystal Palace, Charlton, all in that promotion battle that Southampton are still in. Birmingham not completely out of it yet, given their games in hand as well. Of course, two going down from the championship this season too, so Reading not completely out of that battle. Ninth place they occupy heading into today's game. 12 in the division, the bottom two will go down. Whelan unable to wriggle beyond Clinton, but Clinton gives it away to Takarada. Mamiki flicks it back and it will drop to Takarada, who took the shot on from a tight angle. And Nilden got across to get the block in. Well, that was lovely football from Leicester. Takarada with the give and go. To get on the end of this, a lovely flick on by Tierney, in fact. She hit that shot well, Takarada. From that angle, it was on target. Vital interception from Nilden. And it comes headed away. Takarada with a volley back in straight at Spencer. Largely since going behind inside the first two minutes it has been a good response from Leicester admittedly very close to going two down when Spence hit the bar from distance a really open game though at Brisbane Road so far this afternoon Neville over the top to Sumina who is knocked down but the referee plays on Bizet's touch was a little bit heavy, which gave Cayman the chance to get the foot in. Bula, long ball forward towards Naz. Howard picks it up and clears it long. And Nilden did really well there. She has also had a really impressive start to this game, Amanda Nilden. Sweden, of course, drawn into England's Euro 2025 qualifying group. Amanda Nilden, very much part of the squad for Sweden. England Wembley awaits for Sweden. As a half chance for Peterman comes to nothing. 
rather scuffed the shot. It trickles through to Becky Spencer. Mamiki Spence with a fierce but fair challenge on Mamiki. But the second one not so fair on Tierney from Sumana. And that will be a Leicester free kick, says Adi Sonai. Spence getting the ball there. Sumanen getting the right ankle of Tierney. And Leicester have a free kick in a dangerous position as we approach the halfway mark of the first half. Sonai continues to deliver his warning to Sumana. Also directs her to get behind that sprayed white line. The wall does its job. CJ Bott back to Tebow. She goes all the way back to Cop. Cop to Bot. Tierney will try to get on the end of that. Really well read by Neville, who was. Slightly strained her ankle or the top of her foot in an attempt to reach that. She was fully on the stretch to prevent Tierney getting away from her. She's back on her feet now, Ash Neville. This is her 13th start of the season. Ash Neville's come all the way through the pyramid with Tottenham. What an occasion it will be for her, that FA Cup semi-final. Bot for Leicester. Takes it beyond Bizet. And it's with Tierney. Mamiki to Takarada. Thibaut. To Cayman. Mamiki. Lovely ball by Mamiki. Wheeling with the cross in. And it's all the way through to Spencer. Neville juggles it through to Naz, but Leicester win it back. Sumanen got a touch on the ball and Peterman plays it out of play. Referee Adi Sonai initially gave that as a throw to Leicester, but amid much confusion, I think he consulted with the assistant referee on that side, and the correct decision was ultimately given. A throw in rather to Tottenham, but it's now gone back into Leicester's possession through the throw. Mamiki tries to win it back. Sumana gets the touch in, and it'll go back to Becky Spencer. Spence. Doing really well to feed it back to Clinton. Through ball to Naz. Came and got the touch. Rantala caught by Bizet. No foul, says the referee. Tottenham take the throw quickly. Bizet back. And has it back, does Bizet. And wriggles away into the penalty area. And Howard managed to get across uh, to block her. Good defending again by Sophie Howard. Leicester on the break. Peterman 
Gets the attempted pass to Whelan wrong and it goes all the way through to Spencer. Clinton is surprised rather from behind, but it is a foul and a free kick taken quickly. Nilden. Nilden with a bit of space on this left hand flank. Goes inside to Naz. Clinton to Sumana. Bula to Bizet. Eventually, Leicester win it back, and Mamiki has it now. Tries to play it through the legs of Vinberg. Just about got away with it, held onto it, and finds Tierney. Rantala. Given away. Clinton. Tries to find Naz, but Thibaut's there first, and rolls it back to Lisa Kopp. Bot. Tottenham have never le lost to Leicester in the WSL. This is the sixth meeting between the two. Four straight wins for Tottenham before that one all draw earlier this season. Oh, but it's given away here, and Leicester do have an opportunity. Almost found his way through to Rantala. But Tottenham win it back. Bizet. Lovely turn from the Norway international. Oh, and she almost got the pass through to Naz, who gets there onto the ball in the end and rolls it back to Bizet. Bula wins it back at the second attempt. And calls for the return from Naz, but the pass was never going to find her. It's out for a Tottenham throw, though. Good little bit of concerted pressure, this, from the hosts. Tottenham do have the option to buy Amanda Nilden, the number six. He just took that throw in at the end of the season, given the evidence of her performance so far this afternoon. You'd imagine he'll be taking that option up. She looks absolute class, does Amanda Nilden, on loan from Juventus. As this attack ultimately comes to nothing. Nilden with the foot in there to Clinton. I think she was taking the shot on, in fact. She can hit them from distance. We've seen that this season. Grace Clinton, not on that occasion. Sumida tried to pick out Bizet. Nilton's there and finds Sumida. Bula. Mamiki, Mamiki takes a shot on and it's blocked by James Turner, drops to Vimberg. He's been a little less involved after a blistering first quarter of an hour or so, but she's back on the ball now, Matilda Vimberg. Howard gets her ahead of Naz for Leicester. And, well, she's won. A free kick there, Sophie Howard, using all of her experience, because at one stage uh, she could have given away a free kick there, but she made sure perhaps that uh, the decision went the other way. 
doing so fairly. Cop is down here, needing an assessment from the medical staff. Making her fourth start, fifth start in fact, in the WSL this afternoon. Lisa Kopp, Janina Leitzig, the established number one, but ruled out at the start of March. Janina Leitzig, the German, for an extended period, it was said at the time, with a shoulder injury. But back on the bench this afternoon. But Lisa Kopp continuing in goal and Leipzig is the only goalkeeper on the bench for Leicester so if there was to be a need for Cup to go off which there won't be right now she's okay to continue then it would have to be Janina Leipzig coming on Adi Sonai has done well to keep the game flowing in this first half hour. Up until this point with Elisa Kopp needing a bit of attention. But the game will get back underway now with a drop ball. To the team that was in possession, which was Leicester. So dropped for Julie Thibault. Howard to Tierney, back to Howard. Sends one over the top. Spence tries to pick out Vinberg. Came is there for Leicester to Takarada. Takarada's caught by Clinton. Play on, says the referee. Clinton fires Naz. Naz to Bizet. Bizet's got a bit of space here. And Bot did really well for Leicester. Bethany England warming up there in the back of shots. The Tottenham captain missed most of the first half of the season with a hip injury. And among the substitutes this afternoon, corner to be taken by Bizet. And it goes low and given away and out of play for a Tottenham throw. but it's given away or won back rather by Clinton Sumina to Spence Neville all the way back to Spencer Tottenham throw 10 minutes of the half plus added time to play. Neville finds Vimberg. Lovely pass from Vimberg to Bizet. It's got Nilden ahead of her on the left, but holds on to it, does Bizet. Now finds Nilden.
Bot wins it back eventually. Rantala with the through ball. Lovely ball, in fact, to Whelan. Neville gives chase. Whelan gets there first. But Neville has halted the progress somewhat and slowed the attack. Oh, and there's an appeal by Peterman because her shirt was certainly in the hands of an opponent. It has to be said, whether it was an unfair challenge, but it did look at one moment like a bit of a shirt pull inside the penalty area on this attack. Turner, and in fact, Peterman may have pulled Turner's shirt first, but Turner responded in kind. Of course, no VAR, no second chances for the officials, no penalty given. And it may have been, in fact, that both players in that move impeded each other in the same way. Clinton wriggles beyond Takarada and finds Vinberg. But Cayman was alert to the danger, snuffed it out, won it back and gets the cross in now. But Spencer's there. Peterman was lurking. It wasn't quite the right ball in for her. And I think she was making that point. Well, there's a bit of space here for Mamiki to get the shot away. Curls it almost beyond Spencer. Fine save from the Tottenham keeper. Decent curling shot from Yuka Mamiki. Not far away from her second goal for the club since her January arrival. But Becky Spencer palming it behind for the Leicester corner. Which Rantala will take. Rantala sends it in, headed away. Bizet jumps, but uh, referee is coming across to check on Sumana. Started 13 WSL games this season prior to today as a Knock to the head is assessed. Evelina Sumana has weighed in with one goal and three assists during this WSL campaign. Also made quite an impact at the end of last season. Key player in keeping Tottenham in the division. Her status as a top flight club looks far from secure at one point. And she was an integral part of that side with her performances so important in keeping Tottenham up and wow how they have uh, continued to evolve this season they're at a completely different level with the promise of more to come too again play restarts with a drop ball this time to Tottenham Cayman puts Vinberg under pressure and Whelan wins it back. Almost came through to Tierney, but Tottenham get a boot in and clear it out of play for a Leicester throw, which Cayman will take. Howard has made two vital interceptions already this afternoon. Sophie Howard, but Naz wins it back for Tottenham only momentarily because Rantala was there and she's back on the ball now is the Finn. Howard across to Tebow. Returns it to Howard. Howard tries to go long in search of Rantala, but it's cut out by Nilden. And Bizet finds Spence. Back now with Bizet. Nilden had to hurry the clearance because she was under pressure. Howard. Didn't get much on the header. Tebow, though, shepherds it back to Kopp with Naz. 
attempting to get on the end of it into the final four minutes plus added time in a free-flowing first half of football it's whizzed by Tottenham got the sole goal of the afternoon within seconds of kickoff inside the second minute Matilda Vinberg with her first goal for the club 21 yesterday scoring against the goalkeeper turning 26 today happy birthday for one not such a happy birthday for the other cop though has made one very good save after drew spence's shot came off the bar i think bot got away with taking the throw in from on the pitch there is it going to be called back given the other way it was a foul throw because cj bot was already on the pitch when she took it so it goes the other way Play on, says the referee. Takarada came off the heel of Sumana, almost dropped to Mamiki. Neville wins it back. Now, though, Thibaut has it for Leicester. Plays it through the centre to Takarada. Finds Rantala and Peterman on the turn, gets the shot away. Leicester putting on the pressure in the closing stages of this first half. Clinton forces Thibaut back to Howard. Across to Bott. Naz pressures her and the pressure allowed Tottenham to win it back, but Bott recovered to smash it out of play for a Tottenham throw. Ball gets away from Bizet though and it's a Leicester throw. Clinton wins it back off Takarada, but Naz gives it away to the Japan international. Sumer to Naz. Clinton out to Bizet. Bizet with space to work in, takes a shot on early, pulls it just wide. Decent effort, but she may have had a little bit more time than she realised. Maybe she just thought the best option was to try and catch Cop by surprise. Cop wouldn't have been expecting it. I don't think many of us were because there looked like options there for Bizet. And even one of those options being the space for her to take it on a little further herself. But I think she just wanted to try and catch Cop out there and didn't manage to get the shot on target. Howard back to Cop. There haven't been all that many clear cut chances in the first half, but it's been a good watch. It's been an open game. Into the well into the final minutes. We await how many added minutes. There might not be all that many. There was a stoppage to Cop, stoppage to Sumana. Whelan still holds on to it. Four minutes, we think, is going to be shown. Four minutes of added time as Tottenham give away a free kick. Decent opportunity this for Leicester to get themselves on level terms just before the break. Mamiki and Rantala. Really good position to try and put Becky Spencer under considerable pressure. Rantala with the in-swinger. Flicked on and a bit of a scramble with Spencer's there. 
Well, she was put under pressure, but she responded in perfect fashion. Run to that, swing it in. The flick on by Whelan. Thibaut was lurking and came through. A cluster of Tottenham legs. It could have gone anywhere, really. Spencer managed to read it and smother it. Clinton sends this one right through the middle all the way to the Leicester goalkeeper. Tierney with the back heel. Decent back heel too because the attack is still flowing from a Leicester perspective. And Bizet there on Tierney. Did she catch her? I don't think she meant to, but it, it looked like the back of her arm did catch Tierney in the face. And Tierney went down in genuine pain, I think. Bizet appears to have hurt herself as well. But it was... It didn't look good. It, 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 was, it was clumsy in the extreme, really, from Bizet. She swung her entire body round. And she did catch her opponent in the face, Tierney. Jennifer Foster giving out the instructions. There will be plenty in this first half. She'll be pleased with. Awful start to be trailing away from home so early, but Leicester have kept themselves well and truly in this game. Had a couple of decent half chances themselves. They played some nice football at times. And it may be, in fact, that Adi Sonai's assistant did see uh, that that challenge from Bizet wasn't entirely fair because he does have a yellow card in his hands there, Adi Sonai. And I think quite correctly, Celine Bizet is going to be booked for that. <laughs> and when the arms are flailing like that in elite football, you could sometimes see the colour of that card be somewhat different. Again, she may be spared by the fact there isn't any VAR. There's no chance to look at things again for the officials in slow motion. Well, in fact, it wasn't so much her arm that caught. So I think a yellow card is, is completely the right decision there. It wasn't her arm that caught Tierney. It was her trailing leg, but she did kind of throw a full body weight in the direction of her opponents. Bott with the through ball, almost finds its way through, and Tierney sends it back into the centre of the penalty area. Cayman sends it through, and it'll trickle. To added time at the end of added time. As Becky Spencer sends this goal kick towards the halfway line. Naz will get there ahead of Tebow. Tebow forces her back. Naz holds on to it. Does really well to hold on to it, in fact, and finds Vinberg. Vinberg to Sumana. Top just brings it back into her area and picks it up. Flicked on by Rantala. And Nilden ushers it out of play for a Tottenham throw with Tierney in close quarters.
Spence with the back header to Naz. Naz finds Clinton. Thibaut wins it back for Leicester. Mamiki. Mamiki still. Lovely ball by Mamiki to Whelan. Spencer makes a half save and then blocks the follow up. And then it's off Buna and behind. Double save from Spencer. Buna with the block. Ashley Neville asking the referee how long's left, or telling him rather that she thinks the half should be up. Whelan with the snapshot. Spencer Mayfield, she should have done better with that one, but she got up so well to block Peterman's effort. And Rantala on the follow up came off Bula and behind. Well, it must have ultimately come off a Leicester body because it's a goal kick. Leicester so close to a last gasp equaliser in this first half. And the half time whistle does go. Thoroughly entertaining first half. Matilda Vinberg on her first WSL start with her first Tottenham goal a day after she turned 21. What a couple of days for Matilda Vinberg. What a start to the half for Tottenham. Leicester still right in it though. Half time. Tottenham lead 1 0 at Brisbane Road. And we can look back shortly on the best moments from that first half that whizzed by. And it started in absolutely electric fashion from a Tottenham perspective. Spencer, who had pulled the ball in from the corner, sparking the attack. Spence with the through ball to Naz. What a cross this was. Laid it on a plate for Matilda Vinberg to turn that home with just over a minute played. Another lovely move. Nildon with the layoff to Naz, back to Spence. What an effort from Drew Spence. Cop turning away the loose ball as it drops out of the East London sky. Leicester had their moments too. Mamiki curling this towards the far post, but Spencer palmed that one behind. Celine Bizet, who works her way increasingly into the game with the arrowed effort wide of the near post. What a season she's having. And Rantala with the in-swinger, which almost dropped to Thibaut and just wriggled its way through in the end to the safety of Becky Spencer's arms. Uh, do join us again for the second half at Brisbane Road as we head into the break. It's Tottenham Hotspur 1, Leicester City 0. I'm Amy Rogers. I'm Arlie Testro. I'm Taylor Hines. I'm Mackenzie Arnold. I'm Missy Bokens, and this is Away Day Teammates. My away game essentials are my PlayStation. I've got one of the Poga things, um, so I bring that with me. It's got a TV on, so I can play on the coach and stuff. iPad. My, my, my iPad for Netflix, yeah. like stuff like that. Yeah. Recently, my book, I've been into reading now, so like, yeah, any book that I'm reading at the minute. I like having my AirPods, I can listen to music. Me too. I'd say like coffee, but yeah, I went to say like essentials. AirPods. My boots, my shin pads. I mean, obviously my boots. Um, game day sports bra, grip socks. My car max. Yeah, maybe just all my toiletries are like to feel fresh all the time on my perfumes. I think hairbrush, I've got quite frizzy hair at the front. A lot of people like to have a pillow for the long journeys, yeah. so you can sleep a bit. Nothing special. <laughs> People might not believe me, but on the coach, I like sitting on my own, playing on my PlayStation and stuff. Um, I do get up and have a wander and socialise with the rest of the girls, but on the coach, I like my own space. I like sitting next on my own. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I sit around the same, like, the same group of people, like Yana, Lorzy, um, and But yeah, I like sitting on my own, but I don't mind who I sit opposite with, because we've got tables. So like, as long as I've got the two seats to myself, then I'm happy. Ah, uh, Kirsty Smith. Yeah, Amy. <laughs> We've been on one away trips so far, but I'll, I mean, I'll keep it that way. Oh, okay. I'm satisfied. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And I'd say both. Jazz and Fernie? Yeah. They like a card game. Yeah. We've already been enlisted into their card group. So. Yeah. Probably Viv and Hawa, always. Um, I think me or me and Enderby, I think we're always up to something. Stick little things in people's nose, <laughs> no, <laughs> when they're sleeping and stuff, or something like that. She'll, she'll come up with something. I don't know what it will be, but she'll make it up. Always late. 
No one's really late. I would say the last to get ready most of the time would be Shannon Cook. And you think, do you know what? No, we're actually all pretty on time. Yeah, on time. Yeah, we've only had a few bus journeys though at the minute. So ask me again <laughs> a few months, in a few months. Okay, well, I don't think anyone has been late, but I will say Brooke is very forgetful, I have come to learn. Yeah. So I feel like if there anyone would be late, it would be Brooke just because she like forgot something lost or her phone again. Yeah, yeah, lost her keys, something like that. Probably Bo, Missy Bo, she'll just talk the whole time and sometimes I just need to like, when I'm reading, if I'm going to read my book, I can't sit next to her because she'll be talking to me. Princess Vivian Hawa, the whole time. Jamie Lee. Or Abby, maybe. Or Abby, yeah. yeah. The Scots. To be fair, a lot of, a few players, I'd say yeah, Neve sleeps a bit. Uh, Risa or Honu. Um, Neve Fahi, she's always sleeping. Um, she's not lazy, but she likes her own space and sleeping on the bus. Not quite sure yet, but Emily Sanders falls asleep. Does she? Yeah, she can okay. sleep anywhere. I say even I have a little nap, but yeah, a few people do to be fair. My best pre-game snack would probably be either three wheat bix or wheat bix, whatever you want to call them, and or sorry, butter on toast. I'm not gonna lie. I like to have a banana. I feel like I've been starting that now, like having banana, give me a bit of energy and stuff, but I always have the same pre-match meal as well. Poached egg on toast, always. I love porridge before a game or like overnight oats. I think that's the best thing. I don't really have a snack, but my pre-match meal is beans on toast, and if it's a night game, I'll have tuna pasta. I like making sure of getting a lot of carbs pre-game. Post-game snack. A wrap, maybe. I'm, I'm a sucker for a milkshake, some sort of chocolate milkshake or something, but yeah, I'm not really, it uh, doesn't phase me to be honest. Post game, I don't know, something that also fills you up, but maybe is a bit less bland than like chicken and rice or something. Treat yourself a little bit. Yeah, treat me. Probably like a pizza or something. Our SNC puts food on sometimes after games and we always moan. <laughs> something grubby, so it'd have, probably have to be Macca's. The coffee trip, probably myself. We're not allowed to go to Costa no more because Kerry only likes Starbucks. I mean, I feel like we would like to. Yeah, we're but, both coffee drinkers. Yeah, but, but we're not um, very, like, we don't know much about the area Probably just yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're getting a lot of recommendations, but I feel like in a couple months' yeah, time, we've got it. We've got it, yeah. Is my turn at ring, ring, ring. Then I'm, I'm just good. like, just a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we've got five songs here that you have chosen. A okay, little yeah. bit of a soundtrack to your life that we're going to go through. Uh -huh. We're going to start off with Kalani, Cardi B. Oh, this is a banger. Ring. Are you a big Cardi B, Kalani fan in general? Yeah, 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 definitely for sure. I think so. This song I always play before a game. Oh, okay. So that's kind of like my hype song. Like I mean, it's not the most hype. No, part, it's but not. It's like, but it's, it's chill. Yeah, okay. Like it, it calms me. It's chilled. I'm yeah, relaxed. Yeah. But every game, without since it came out, without yeah. fail, like imagine. So do you have a specific game playlist that you like focus on that doesn't cross paths with your life playlist? Probably, I would say there's a couple of songs here and there. Yeah. That is the top, top, top most important. Yeah. Like if I'm like rushing and I haven't listened to it yet, like I'll sit there in the change room <laughs> with my headphones in. So it's always become like a superstition now. Yeah, you have probably. to listen to that yeah, before yeah. you. If Carla's speaking, I'm like, one sec. <laughs> just have it in the background, Cardi B rapping. <laughs> Talk me through this. Love, time. love, love. I just think it reminds me of my mum. I don't yeah. know why. It's yeah. just like obviously their playlist back in the day. That yeah. was that that old school R and B vibes. I think just living in that era would be kinda kinda cool. Are you an old school R and B fan? I am big yeah. old school R and B fan. And then if we go into slightly more new school R and B, yeah. you've got a bit of post Malone. If so did you watch this film? I did, yeah. The, the Into the Spider-Man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As, soon, as soon as I like put it on straight away, just noticed the playlist. It's so good. It's, so, it, it's unbelievable. It's so, like the so songs good. that we're playing, yeah. I think, when when you were like, <laughs> playlist to my life, I'm yeah. thinking, that's probably my intro to my life. Okay. I'd say, why why would you say start. that? Just like with how it comes in, it's upbeat, it's chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like that's that's me. This one. This one's definitely okay. on there. This is a this personal <laughs> favourite of mine, so I'm so glad because I don't think anyone else has chose Childish Gambino. Actually. No I think way. you're the first one. I could put so many of his on there. Love him. This song, I don't. So, 
Not that I forgot, but I remembered <laughs> it when I was in Australia watching the Women's World Cup. Yeah, yeah. And just being in Australia, sunset, sunrise, blue skies, you got the beach. Yeah. This song banging. Yeah. What more could you want? And then back to our old school R&B. Yeah. An absolute that classic. Boy is mine. So, fun fact. Yeah. That was top of the charts on my birth when okay. I was born. So, so there's a bit of a story behind it as yeah. well. So then I was like, do I put that at the start of my life? Because that's yeah. the day I was born. Yeah. It was number one yeah. in the UK. That's a good one to have. Because so, other people, like when you look at like the one, like what was number one when they were born, and it was like some terrible song. Yeah. And you're like, oh. I know. That's a good one. And when that's it's this one, one, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> their boy is. I'm like, Easy. if you were to. Uh, do a duet of that karaoke. What, mm -hmm. Who of your teammates are you choosing to do the other part? Do you know what? I'd pick Rachel Daly. She I'd is a karaoke is, yeah. guru. Yeah. I think she wouldn't disappoint. Do you think she's got that in her locker? Uh, oh, I feel like we need 10 out of 10 effort, yeah, and she must provide the 10 out of 10 effort. Yeah. So that's all I'm going to rate her on. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe not a big like yeah, Andy fan yeah, herself, we'll, but yeah, she put the effort. Yeah, we'll see if we we do it one day. And then out of these songs. You've just won a game. Which of those five are you playing to celebrate, get everyone going, have a good time? Oh, probably Post Malone. Okay. Chilled. Yeah. I'd probably play Ring. I'm lying. I'd probably play Kalani. <laughs> Kalani. Yeah, I'm lying. And everyone's like, this again. Man. Yeah, so yeah. Come on I mean, that's why I'm not allowed on the speaker. <laughs> that's probably why I'm not allowed. I have like three songs. To see us out, could you give yeah. us one line of Ring Ring? I feel like you got the vocals on. Oh. <laughs> Little one, little one. Ring, ring, ring. <laughs> there you go. That's all we need. That's all we need. That's all we need. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you for giving us your choices. Uh, no problem. I'm going to add these to my playlist now. Yeah, sick. <laughs> Thank you. Rachel Furness, and this is my ultimate five side. So, in goal, I'd say Mary Earps, play with Fart Redden world's best keeper right now, so Mary. I think she was fantastic at the World Cup and showed why she's one of the best goalkeepers around. So Mary... I mean, I guess I need a defender in there too, if I don't concede. Um, current centre-half, I'd say Millie Bright. Fantastic leader for Chelsea. Um, really, really tough to play against. Really physical, great on the ball. Zero goals conceded. Happy days. Kim Little, a midfielder that I've always looked up to and thought has been fantastic for Arsenal over the years. Um, a really kind of unsung hero, but one of the hardest players um, I've played against. So Kim Little, 100% in there. I need to score goals, so I'll say Beth Mead. Played with her at Sunderland back when she was just normal old Beth. Knew she was a kind of superstar back then, so yeah, definitely, definitely Beth in there. Viv, um, Miramar, I'd have to put in there. Her and Beth link up well. Yeah, fantastic player. I mean, a goat of the WSL, scores a lot of goals.
welcome back to Brisbane Road where Kit Graham has entered the fray in a half-time substitution for Tottenham who lead 1-0. She's replaced Drew Spence who made quite an impact in that first half on her return from illness. She missed last weekend's FA Cup win did Drew Spence. She played a part in the opening goal. Matilda Vinberg scoring her first goal for Tottenham with just over a minute played to give them the lead. The lead they still hold. Drew Spence also hit the bar in that first half from distance. But she has now made way for Kit Graham, who comes off the bench for the ninth time in the WSL this season to make her 13th appearance in the league of this campaign. The Tottenham team now, Becky Spencer, the captain in goal, Ashley Neville, Amy James-Turner, Luana Bula, Amanda Nilden, who had a brilliant first half across the back line. Evelina Sumana, Kit Graham now on in place of Drew Spence, Matilda Vinberg, the goal scorer, and Grace Clinton, and also Jess Naz and Celine Bizet. Leicester, no changes at the break for them. Lisa Kopp in goal, CJ Bott, Sophie Howard, Julie Thibault, Janice Kamen, Sandy Takarada ahead of them. And then the four behind Aileen Whelan, who's nominally in the most forward position, but has been playing in more of a free role, really. But Yutarantala, Sam Tierney, Yuka Mamiki, and Lena Peterman. And just a reminder elsewhere on the FA player in a game that kicked off the same time as this one. Southampton leading Reading 3-0. Southampton very much in the promotion race for a spot in the WSL next season. And it looks like, barring a Reading comeback, they're on course for another three points this afternoon. Tottenham on course for the three points at the moment, but this one much closer. Leicester looking for a first ever win, but it's Naz here for Tottenham, trying to pick out Clinton, who was charging through in the middle. Neville. Tottenham trying to start the second half in the same way they did the first with an early goal. If Leicester were to win by two this afternoon, so they'd have to score at least three now, they would move ahead of Tottenham on goal difference. Tottenham sixth at the start of play. Three points ahead of eighth placed Leicester. That'll go all the way through and behind for a Tottenham goal kick. Becky Spencer, the penalty shootout hero last weekend against Manchester City. Made one save on the stretch in the first half from Amiki. Also had to be alert with a double stop in a bit of a scramble right at the end of the half when shots were raining through. Saving well from Rantelar. Parried the initial effort from Whelan. Then saved really well. Close range from Rantelar. And then as Peterman again followed through, Luana Bula got the block in. That was arguably the closest that Leicester came to an equaliser in that first half. Kit Graham, the half-time substitute for Tottenham, signing a new deal earlier this season. Robert Villaham singing her praises. And when she signed that deal, Bot did really well there for Leicester, saying she's very close to being a starting player. She has started for WSL games. But he says she plays with the character and she has that ethos around the squad that it doesn't matter if she starts games or comes on or isn't involved. She approaches every game in the same way that she's such an important player in the squad. Because of that attitude, the former Charlton player
Milden, the Swede, on loan from Juventus for the rest of the season. We'll take the throw in here for Tottenham. She had a really good first half. Not just in defence, but sparking attacks as well. And there's a loose pass back, which Nats tried to get on the end of Kopp. Did really well to surge out of goal and make sure she got there in the end, well ahead of facts of Naz. Mamiki back to Takarada. Both the Japan internationals arriving in January. Neither in the World Cup squad last year, but they were both part of the 2019 squad. A lovely ball through from Takarada to Mamiki. The pair combining well, but Becky Spencer got there first. But that just a little hint of what Leicester can do when they're at their free-flowing best. Sumana a little careless in the pass there, but there is a foul on Graham and a free kick to Tottenham. So she gets away with it somewhat. Thibaut on Clinton, but Clinton just about holds onto it and wins the free kick for Tottenham. Sumina with the free kick for Tottenham. Cayman wins the header and wins a free kick for Leicester because of a foul by Vinberg. Taken quickly. Takarada back to Howard. to Cop. Cop through the middle. Cayman receiving the ball from Takarada. But it's cut out. And Graham has it. Plays it back to James Turner, but it did put her under a bit of pressure and Tierney wins it back. Sumana got a vital foot in, but it's with Takarada. Rantala. Neville with a challenge on her, gives away the free kick to cries from the home crowd, but I think Adi Sonai was right there. Tottenham perhaps getting ready for a couple of another early changes in this second half. Looks like Robert Villaham is preparing a couple more changes as we look at the replay. Bethany England is about to come on, as is Rosella Ian. So two attacking introductions for Tottenham. As off goes Matilda Vinberg for Bethany England. Standing ovation from the home fan. Celine Bizet also heading off. Well, Bizet replaced by England. Vinberg replaced by Ian. One birthday girl replaces another because Rosella Ayan also celebrated her birthday yesterday, as did Mathilde de Vimberg. Well, if she can have the same sort of impact as Vimberg did a day after her birthday, then uh, Tottenham will be going into a 2-0 lead. But it is Leicester who have the opportunity here to pull themselves level. Rantala with the free kick. Neville heads it away. As far as Peterman... England with her first touch wins it back and smashes it clear. Beth England has made six WSL starts this season. This is her second involvement from the bench. Missed the first half of the season recovering from that hip surgery she had after being part of the England World Cup squad. That made it all the way to the final. Didn't get many minutes. Did score in the penalty shootout against Nigeria. Thierry is brought down and it's a Leicester free kick. Sumana 
with the foul. Came from behind in the challenge on Tierney did Sumana, and it is a Leicester free kick. And she's having a talking to. I think that's her last warning from Adi Sonai. on England and it will be a Tottenham free kick this time Adi Sonai saying he was trying to play on but that Howard pulled down Beth England Free kick comes in. Graham turns well. Leicester clear it. Mamiki turns. Ayan got the foot in. And Graham picks it up and tried to just roll it through to England. Good idea. Leicester's defence read it. Foul on Tebow. It's just getting a bit scrappy in the middle of the park. Probably suits Tottenham back better, given that they have this lead. Lots of free kicks for little fouls being given in the centre of the park. Tebow knocks it towards Rantala, who is ahead of Neville and gets a shot away, and it went off the underside of the bar. What a hit by Yuta Rantala. Well, she got away from Neville. And she absolutely clattered it above Spencer, but just millimetres too high because it, well, it hit the post, in fact, rather than the crossbar, the inside of the post and away. Leicester millimetres from being on level terms. Rantelow with a couple of goals last week against Liverpool in the FA Cup. So close to another this afternoon. Neville now for Tottenham. He's already scored five in the WSL, has Yuta Rantela. Summer signing last summer from Vizio, the Swedish team on a two-year deal. She really has made an impact in her first season in the WSL. And she was mighty close there to levelling things up for Leicester. Tottenham just about still have the slenderest of leads. on this time says the referee and it's with Beth England who's got acres of space to run into Howard trying to time her challenge England still has it gets the shot away good save by Cop at her near post well it was a similar position of the pitch that Bethany England last season almost exactly a year ago cut inside and smashed one across goal to the far corner to give Tottenham a vital 1-0 win in the end Exactly this sort of move that she made. This time around, she opted for the low at the near post. And Cop read it well. And Bots cleared it away on the follow-up.
Bula brings it forward. Ayan. Tierney picks it up for Leicester. Bula has it again. Whelan knocks it out of play for the Tottenham throw. An hour played. Tottenham still lead just by one goal. Howard gets there ahead of Ayan and knocks it out of play for the Tottenham throw. Nildon takes to Clinton and receives it back and plays it back to James Turner. Neville to Naz. Oh, lovely footwork by Naz to bring it inside of Cayman. Stretches away but gives it away to Mamiki. Cayman to Howard. Bot to Whelan. Whelan holds on to it and inside to Takarada. Back to Bot. Neville, which she is going to go into the book for on Peterman. Ashley Neville booked for the foul on Lena Peterman. On this near touchline, it was late. Certainly a yellow card offence. It was on Rantelite, in fact, the, the foul. Miki takes the free kick, rolls it back to Tebow. Naz again turns really well, as does Clinton to find England through Sir Ayan. Naz gives up the chase because she knew she wasn't going to get there. I am almost finding room for the shots. James Turner all the way back to Spencer. Peterman for Leicester. But Nilden is back there to tidy up and find Bula. Spencer. Fires it out towards Naz. Cries of handball from the crowd. It did flick off of the outside of the hand of Peterman. Jennifer Foster yet to make a change for Leicester. Tottenham have made three of their five permitted substitutions. Tottenham do have Deanne Rose on the bench. Sorry, Leicester do have Deanne Rose on the bench this afternoon. Back from international duty with Canada. They went deep into that CONCACAF Gold Cup. Knocked out in the semi-finals on penalties by USA. Played extra time in both the quarter-finals against Costa Rica and the semi-finals did Canada and Deanne Rose very much a part of the 
team got plenty of minutes. Finished last Sunday that tournament. She's one attacking option that Jennifer Foster does have in this final 25 minutes plus added time. Remy Seamson, the Australia forward also on the bench. And Leicester are going to make a change and it is Deanne Rose coming on for Lena Peterman. Canadian international is on and Grace Clinton is going to be replaced by Ramona Petzelberger. German forward making her eighth appearance in the WSL this season her seventh from the bench the 31 year old German throw for Leicester Miki just got the touch on it, almost found Takarada. England, though, not far away from playing it through to Ayan. Rose with her first touch since coming on. Left Reading following their relegation last season to Deanne Rose. Olympic gold medalist with Canada in Tokyo back in 2021. Heyman given away and Tottenham look to build something England out to Naz Naz with a cross in towards Ian he skews it wide well it was a lovely ball in from Naz not for the first time this afternoon and Rosella Ian He's been on the pitch for a little less than a quarter of an hour. Time to run. Oh, I say time to run really well. She might have just been offside. I don't think the flag went up, though, so it would have counted, but she, she knocked that wide. She did not get hold of that shot, really. Player of her talents will feel she could have done better, at least have made Lisa Kopp work. Decent opening that was for Tottenham. Graham caught there, but just hobbles and tries to run it off. Neville gets across to knock that one back to Pula, and now it's with Nilden. Rose closes her down. And Tottenham are forced all the way back to their goalkeeper. Hilden. Back to Bula, back to Spencer. Takarada finds Rose. Ayan tries to hold her up. Rose gets away from her. Deanne Rose still has it. Suminen. Half gets the ball away, but it was one back by Takarada, and there's a foul on the Tottenham player. Ian and a free kick for Tottenham to relieve the pressure. Leicester having a lot of the ball in the last few minutes. As Leicester prepared to make a double change. Josie Green coming on for Julie Thibault. Tracy Green, the midfielder, on for the defender, Julie Thibault. Tracy Green can also play in 
defensive positions, of course. And Emilio Pelganda coming on for Yuka Mamiki, who was involved in quite a lot that Leicester have had to offer in this first 70 minutes. Force one fine save out of Becky Spencer in the first half, did Mamiki. But Amelia Pelganda, the 20 year old Swede, comes on for her. Swedish midfielder making her fourth appearance in the WSL, all from the bench for Amelia Pelganda, Josie Green. On the pitch now against her former club, the Wales International. Tottenham with Graham, who goes from distance. It just didn't drop inside and sails over the bar from Kit Graham. She did well there to take it beyond Takarada. Surged away from her and then took it on from almost 35 yards. Throw in for Leicester. has gone out now for a Tottenham throw. Nas. Nas is pulled down by Cayman, who goes into the book. Free kick to Tottenham. Similar with the free kick. Trying to pick out Ayan picked up by Rose for Leicester. Graham thought about pulling her down. Rose still has it. But Neville cuts out the attempted pass to Rantala. Howard with the header back to Kopp. Game still firmly in the balance as we head towards the final 15 minutes plus added time. Both sides have hit the woodwork this afternoon. Bula's there ahead of Rose to Nilden. Sumana. Tottenham seek the goal that will give them just a bit of breathing space in the closing stages. Naz tries to pick out England. Takarada now for Leicester. Tierney. Tierney with a lovely ball through to Rose. Rose tries to get away from Neil and gets a shot in. Wide, well wide in the end, in fact. And I think the officials here are saying that came off a Tottenham player. And that doesn't look like the case from the replay. The home crowd not happy either. I think all the players whatever colour they are wearing, were surprised by that decision. And Leicester have something of a gift of a corner. Can they make it count? Cayman. Flicked into the Tottenham area now. And England does really well. To fend off Pelganda.
Takarada to Cayman. Cayman with the deep cross. Oh, it was on its path towards Rose, a vital Tottenham head. And is, in the end, a, a Tottenham free kick to just take a bit of the pressure off Petzelberger. It was who was fouled. Becky Spencer takes her time on the free kick. Goalkeepers often do, of course, certainly in the latter stages of a game, when, particularly when their team is leading. Tottenham won't be in too much of a hurry to restart play whenever they have the opportunity now to eke out a few valuable seconds. Bot. Time is against Leicester somewhat now, albeit only a narrow lead to chase down. They need to score a late goal. In fact, they've conceded a lot of late goals of Leicester this season, 10 of the 30 that they had let in before today. Maybe today they conceded a very early one, but they conceded 10 of the 30 before today in the final 15 minutes. Free kick for Tottenham. towards the edge of the area England brought it down and Howard was right behind her. England fell to the turf no foul bot to Rose Rose with a, a lovely through ball towards Pelganda it's gone behind. It's Whelan, in fact. It's gone behind for a goal kick this time. Whelan not happy with that decision. He's asking how. Didn't need to be a lip reader to, to see that, the expression on her face. Lovely ball this was from Deanne Rose to the Brighton captain. It does look from that replay like it came off the back of Turner's heel. He was out after Leicester had a corner, which they probably shouldn't have had. Tottenham get a goal kick they probably shouldn't have had. Tottenham with the fifth of their five substitutions. Olga Artinen, the Finland international Replacing her international teammate, Evelina Sumana. Her 12th appearance of the season, nine starts. This is her third appearance from the bench. One goal and two assists so far from Olga Artinen in the heart of midfield. Also played a part in Finland's promotion in the Nations League from Tier B to Tier A. Also won the Pinatar Cup for the very first time in February. Beating Martha Thomas's Scotland on penalties in the final. Martha Thomas not involved today for Tottenham because of a hamstring injury. Just going to keep her out, the club believe, for around three weeks. Has started every single WSL game prior to this one, Martha Thomas. Their top scorer too, of course, with seven goals in the league. 
Just one in the last 11, though, after that incredible start of six in the opening four. Petzelberger sweeps it onto Ayan. Got rather caught under her feet as she squares up against Bott, tries to take it beyond her, and Bott knocks it out of play. Free kick to Tottenham. Nilden to take it. Sheltering her eyes now from the low sunshine at Brisbane Road. Ayan, lovely layoff to Nilden. Nilden with the cross. Hit with too much venom. Over the head of England and out of play. Nilden just couldn't find England. Just too much on the cross. Olga Artemen did score in that Pinatar Cup penalty shootout with which Finland beat Scotland. Sophie Howard was in the Scotland team that day. Leicester's Sophie Howard. Petzelberger back towards Naz, but it was too deep. Graham picks it up. Did well, in fact, to hold on to it and play it back, but it's given away. And it's Rantala. Rantala with too much on the pass. And Spencer can come out and drop on that. And again, E Cup, some valuable seconds for Tottenham in the final eight minutes plus added time. Artinum. Back to Bula. Bula gives it away though. Bot. Still Bot. Just about gets it through to Rose. Not quite because Nilden read it. But I think there's a foul anyway and a free kick for Leicester. Foul on Bot. And a yellow card. He's shown for the shirt pull by Petzelberger. So Ramona Petzelberger into the book. And a free kick for Leicester. Five yards outside the Tottenham area. There might not be too many more opportunities this afternoon. They have to try and make this one count. Finish one all between these teams in the reverse fixture back in November. So Tottenham on that day, you had to come from behind. Leicester have been chasing this Tottenham lead since the second minute. Rantala with the free kick off the Tottenham wall and out for a throw. She's come closest to equalising for Leicester, hitting the inside of the upright from a tight angle from close range. Earlier in this second half, Tierney wins another throw for Leicester. Six minutes plus added time to play. Most of the stadium in shade now, but the bright sunshine on that side. A real problem for the official on that side, the assistant referee, and for any of the players on that side as well. Janice Kamen is going to leave the field for Leicester. It's Courtney Nevin comes on. A little more than five minutes of regular time remaining. Courtney Nevin, the Australia international. More often than not in the starting lineup for Leicester. 13 starts. This is her second substitute appearance of the season. I am with the flick on, and she was caught 
She's gone down holding her the back of her right foot. She's okay. Leicester have a throw. Petzelberger gets her ahead of Whelan. Naz smashes it out of play. Clock ticking down on Leicester's hopes of bringing a point away from the capital. Takarada. Tarantula. Tottenham's defence holds firm. I am now tries to take it away from Bot. Bot gets the foot in and knocks it back to Cop. Tottenham set to consolidate their position in sixth place. Open up a three point gap on. Villa, who beat Everton yesterday 2-1. It's Tottenham seeking to move from 19 points up to 22. And leave Leicester back on 16 points. Two places behind them. And these teams will meet a month from today at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in an FA Cup semi-final. And we can see on the evidence of today how keenly contested and how evenly balanced that game should be. Albeit Tottenham have home advantage and you'd expect a much bigger crowd on that occasion at the, the main stadium. Naz is brought down in a game of such importance for both clubs. And there's a yellow card shown to Pell Gander. The foul on Naz. Tottenham have really taken the sting out of this game in the final 10 minutes. There was a period where the Leicester pressure was beginning to take its toll. Culminated really in that shot by Rantala off the post. But it's Tottenham now on the attack. Graham back to England. Just falls for a little wide. England with the shot in. Graham on the follow-up. Leicester just about hold firm. Ayan rolls it back to Artinen. Petzelberger turns and sweeps it out to Naz. Artinen with a dinked. Chips cross. Comes back to Nilden. Ayan to Artinen. Lovely ball by Artinen to Nilden. Nilden tries to wriggle through. Leicester's defence just about holds firm. Bot to Rantala. Back to Bot. And Bot does well to surge into space down the right hand touchline. Bot with a lovely pass through to Rantala. Just a little bit too much on it, in fact. And Naz had done really well, dropping deep. And does really well to bring it away now for Tottenham too. Jess Naz and just heads towards the corner. Oh, and in the end she's brought down by Pell Gander, who's only just gone into the book. And that was a rather clumsy foul, given that. But she's going to escape a second caution in quick succession. Wonderful play that from Jess Naz. Getting back into defence to snuff out the Leicester counter-attack and then bringing the ball pretty much the length of the pitch. Five minutes of added time to play. 
Tottenham are going to just try and hold this in the corner or are they going to look for the goal that might just kill it off? Well, no surprise. Most teams would do the same. Holding it in that corner. Graham. Wins a throw now. And another throw to Sotman. Tottenham came into this having lost three of their last four in the WSL. Having lost just three in the opening 11. Needed a win, really. Very close now to getting it with a goal that was scored. It feels like a lifetime ago. The game had barely kicked off. Until the Vimbo struck so early. You wouldn't have thought at, at that time that it was going to be the only goal of the afternoon. But it's beginning to look that way now. Nilden knocks it off of Tierney and out for a Tottenham throw. Ian just trudges across. And then leaves it for a teammate. Well, it's a Tottenham free kick, in fact. Bula sends forward in the direction of England, but it's going to drop to Ayan. But she gives away the free kick. For the foul on Josie Green. Tottenham throw. Nilden. To Ian. He tries to turn. Headed away. Petzelberger heads it back in there for Tottenham. And Graham. Graham rolls it through to Beth England. Who seals the points when the flag is up. Bethany England thought that she had her first WSL goal of the season. Her first WSL goal, it would have been for 295 days. But she had just strayed a yard beyond Howard. It was a lovely ball through by Graham. But Bethany England didn't quite time her run. And the flag was up. That would have been the goal that would kill it. 90 seconds of added time to play. Tottenham had the ball where they want it to be. Right down this Leicester end. So close now. To a win that's going to move them six points clear of their opponents. So much promise both these clubs have shown this season. Promising signs of growth. Graham and Takarada tussling and Nevin with the arm on Graham, but there's no foul and it's a Leicester goal kick and they have to work very, very quickly now into the final minutes of the minimum five that were added. Rose tries to get ahead of Neville and there are appeals, not from Rose. Well, a little half appeal there as she got back to her feet. But appeals from perhaps some of the Leicester coaching staff. But it was a fair challenge by Neville. Whelan with a really important touch. Again, Neville gets there just ahead of Rose. Takarada. Is there going to be late drama here? 
as Rantala looks to turn, but Tottenham got the bodies back and got the ball away. Howard picks it up, though. Nevin and Naz will get there. Just well, In fact, Nevin almost managed to get away from Naz. Naz just about keeps it in, and the whistle goes. And Tottenham were made to work very, very hard in the end. But a goal from Matilda Wimberg on her first WSL start, her first goal for Tottenham, the day after she turned 21, has given Tottenham all three points. There she is in the centre of picture, Matilda Wimberg, 21-year-old Swede, with a fine, fine finish, with a little more than 60 seconds played at Brisbane Road this afternoon when she got on to the end of Jess Naz's delicious cross into the area to turn it home for what proved to be the only goal of the afternoon, the winning goal of the afternoon. And Tottenham in a dress rehearsal for the FA Cup semi-final between these two at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium a month today have come away with three valuable points in the WSL to cement their place in six spots. Two places ahead of Leicester, who are now six points behind them. Aston Villa between the pair of them. Fine afternoon for Robert Villahams. Tottenham. Leicester again led by Jennifer Foster. With Willie Kirk still assisting the club in that internal inquiry. The Leicester manager suspended. Jennifer Foster with an FA Cup win last week. The Leicester manager. A WSL defeat to Robert Villahams. Tottenham this afternoon. And we can look back at the goal that won it and the best moments of a pretty decent afternoon. Entertaining encounter, just the one goal. This was it. Lovely flowing move. Spence on her return to the starting lineup with the through ball to Naz. What a cross that was. What a finish that was for Matilda Vinberg. First goal for Tottenham. She'll never forget it. And it proved to be the winner. Naz with the layoff to Spence, who clattered the crossbar. And Kopp reacted well to turn it away. Didn't know where that was going to drop, where it was going to bounce. Leicester had their moments too. Mamiki also returning to the starting lineup, forcing a save out of Spencer with that curling effort towards the end of the first half. Celine Bizet. Took the snapshots on and whistled it wide at the upright. And right at the end of the first half, Rantala with the free kick, which caused a bit of a scramble. Thibaut almost turning it home. Mamiki to Whelan. Saved back to Peterman and then Rantala with the shot deflected wide, but the whistle had gone by that point, in fact, in Tottenham's favour. What a moment this was. Rantala crashing it against the upright. That the closest that Leicester came to equalising. Bethany England on as a second half sub. Opted for the low shot at the near post. Kopp was equal to it. England with the pass to Naz, who found Ian with a lovely ball, but Ian turned that one wide of the post. Kick Graham picks up the ball and whistled one over the crossbar from distance. Graham and England with the one two. England forced us a little wide. The save from Cop went back to. Graham, who had the half chance, and Graham with a lovely ball through to England, who had just strayed offside. Would have been her first WSL goal of the season, missed the first half of it through injury. Tottenham, though, did just about what they needed to do. Thank you for joining us at Brisbane Road this afternoon, where it has finished Tottenham Hotspur 1, Leicester City 0.